Hello everybody, I'm Kenneth Copeland. This is Wednesday. Jesus went to the cross on a high Sabbath. That's right. He said, as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the fish, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. So it didn't start on Friday. So just do the math and figure it up. I mean, I have it here in, in my book. Three days and three nights. So I'm a, everything is in the book. So now, I want to look at in the book of Matthew in the uh, 27th chapter of the 46th verse and about the ninth hour Jesus cried with a loud voice saying my God, my God why hast thou forsaken me? John 19 and Where's I had it up? Wait a minute, let me see here. In uh, 1930, 30. 1930, Jesus therefore received the vinegar. He said, it is finished. Well, it was finished But let's uh, go over to where it is written. Mm -hmm. In the 22nd Psalm in the Classic Amplified, to the chief musician set to the tune of, and says, the morning dawn, the Psalm of David. Now remember this, Shoal or hell, in the bosom of Abraham. Jesus talked about the bosom of Abraham when the rich man died. That's exactly right, Lazarus. And Lazarus, Lazarus was in the bosom of Abraham. The rich man died and went to hell. And said, son, remember, this is part of hell. You can't forget. You can't forget. You can't forget. You can't forget. You can't forget it. You can't it. You, you can't, if you, if, and one of the problems is people say, uh, oh, but God never forgets. Yes, he does. He is the only one that can supernaturally forget, forget. but it takes a blood covenant to do it. Oh, that's because good. Because our sins are washed in his blood. That's good. Yes. Which points all the way back to Egypt. When I see the blood, yes, I'll pass I'll over. That's over. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But it's all in here. This is a psalm of David. Now, now get this. He's in the bosom of Abraham, looking down in there. Twenty-second psalm. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me and from the words of my groaning? Oh my God, I cry in the daytime, but you answer not. And by night, I'm not silent or find no rest. But you are holy. Oh, you who dwell in the holy place where the praises of Israel are offered. Our fathers trusted in you. They trusted, leaned on, relied on, and, you, and were confident, and you delivered them. They cried to you and were diligent and, and were delivered. They trusted and leaned on and confidently relied on you and were not ashamed or confounded or disappointed. I'm a worm. I'm no man. I'm the scorn of men despised by the people. All who see me laugh at me and mock me and they shoot out the lip, they shake the heads saying he trusted and rolled himself on the Lord that he would deliver him, let him deliver him. They did that. They actually mm -hmm. said those things. Yes, they did. Centuries later. Mm -hmm. 
In fact, the scripture references are here where they did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yet you are he who took me out of the womb. You made me hope and trust when I was on my mother's breast. I was cast upon you from my very birth. My mother's womb, you have seen my God. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, and there's no one to help. My many foes like bulls have surrounded me, strong bulls of Basham have hedged me in. Well, that's a exegesis of 39, 18. That's exactly right. Against me they have opened their mouths wide like a ravening and roaring lion. I'm poured out like water. All my bones are out of joint. Not broken because it's prophesied right. that none of his bones would be broken, but he's all out of joint. My heart is like wax. It is softened with an anguish and melted down within me. My strength is dried up like a fragment of clay pottery. With thirst, my tongue clings to my jaws. You have brought me into the dust of death. For like a pack of dogs, they have encompassed me. A company of evildoers have circled me, encircled me. They pierced my hands and my feet. Yeah. It had to be written before it could happen. That's right. Amen. There was a process that had to take place. God designed it That's right. mm -hmm. for you and me. You have any foot problem today? Mm -hmm. You got a problem with your hands or your feet? Mm -hmm. Or your back, your joints, mm -hmm. your bones, ligaments? Curse is reversed. Yeah. That curse is yeah. reversed. Yeah. There's your healing right there in hell itself. Mm. Mm. Let's see. They part my garments, verse 18. Where am I? Verse, oh, yeah. verse 18. They part my clothing among them and cast lots for my raiment. A, 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 a long shirt-like garment, a seamless under tunic. Mm -hmm. That's what we were talking about. Yeah last week, but not far from me, O Lord. Be not far from me, O Lord. O my help, hasten and aid me. Deliver my life from the sword. My dear life, my only one from the power of the dog, the agent of execution. Save me from the lion's mouth, for you have answered me kindly from the horns of the wild oxen. I will declare your name to my brethren in the midst of the congregation. I will praise you. Yeah, that's right. And they're watching this thing from the bosom of Abraham. Yeah. He's preaching to them. Yeah, that's right. Amen. You who fear, revere, and worship the Lord, praise him. All you offspring of Jacob, glorify him. Fear and revere and worship him, all of you offspring of Israel. For he has not despised or abhorred the affliction of the afflicted, neither has he hidden his face from him. But when he cried to him, he heard, my praise shall be of you in the great congregation. I will pay to him my vows made in the time of trouble before them who fear, revere, and worship him. The poor and afflicted shall eat and be satisfied. Look what he fixed right there. Mm -hmm. Your poverty was, went to hell. You just need to believe for the blessing of Abraham. Amen. And they who diligently seek for and inquire of for, for him and, and, and require him is their greatest need. May your hearts be quickened now and forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord. And all the families of nations shall bow down and worship before you. For the kingship and the kingdoms of the Lord and he is the ruler of over the nations. All the mighty ones upon earth shall eat in thanksgiving and worship. All they that go down to the dust shall bow before him, even he who cannot keep himself alive. Posterity shall serve him. They shall tell of the Lord to the next generation. They shall come up and they shall come up. They shall come up. Amen. Mm -hmm. They shall come up and shall declare his righteousness to a people yet to be born, that he has done it, that it is finished. Amen. It is finished. It is finished. What was finished? The separation. Yes. The covenant 
is fulfilled. Yes, it is. And it's fulfilled by the blood of this one man. If you follow this out, see progressively, and it's not, they've, they've perverted that word. Each revelation, each generation begins to see more and more. If you look, that's Psalm 22, that's crucifixion. Psalm 23 is him yes. in the grave. Yes. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, lie me down in green pastures. This is when he's in the grave. Psalm 24 is when he comes out of the grave. It's all prophesied. Uh, let me read you Psalm 24, verse seven. Lift up your heads, O you gates, and be lift up, you everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. That's his resurrection. Yeah, and and uh, one, one of our, our uh, let's see, is, one of my one of my niece, uh, one of my nephews, said, "And the King of Glory shall come in." What? Where's the King of Glory? What is? What is? What is Aunt Gloria? <laughs> the King of Glory with it. I said, "Well, he's her King." You see, <laughs> Brother Copeland, everything's changed now since that. Yes, you were cru- You need to understand this. Paul will teach it. You were crucified with him. Yes. You were because he's your representative. I used to think it was the most unfair thing in all the world that God allowed the whole world to get messed up because one guy sinned. Punish Adam, don't punish all of us. I mean, that's really the way I believe. It didn't seem fair. But in reality, it was brilliant. Yes. Because if one man can get us in it, then one man will get us out of it. Amen. And it was a brilliant plan. Lucifer never saw it coming. And so this mm-hmm. one man is what this thing's all been about, and here he is. So I was crucified with him, I was buried with him, I rose with him, now I'm seated with him, and I reign with him. Yes. Yes. We've got too many believers trying to be seated and reign and not fully understanding all of this mm-hmm. yet. And that's what this covenant is all about, is us getting into that place. Now healing is readily available. There had to be a way since God is a faith God, there had to be a covenant established. Everything had to be recorded over the ages. Mm -hmm. All of it had to be recorded so you and I would have it. And there's some some thing that some guy said is something about a footnote that this wasn't in there. And I said, well, you're too late. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I prayed for that fella. I didn't know the footnote was there. And the Lord healed him whether the footnote was there or not. <laughs> well, let me show you why. Psalm 103. I'm there. Wow. <laughs> you're already there? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Here's, here, here it is. Bless the Lord, all my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name, that's verse one. Bless the Lord, all my soul, and forget not all his benefits. That's the covenant. Mm-hmm. I have covenant benefits. Who forgiveth all thy iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases. That's my benefit package to my covenant that Jesus did in his blood. You can't take away my benefits. <laughs> That's right. Your foot note, your hand note, your back note, I don't care what note you use. This is my benefit package to my And, family. hang on, let's see. Uh, which, what is it, the 69th, I think, song? Uh, no, the 68th. Blessed be the Lord who daily loads us with benefits. There it is. So forget not my benefits. Your union doesn't have these kind of benefits. <laughs> that whole 103rd Psalm, and I, I've just marked it up all over the place, that, and I've used it. I was, my mother was, uh, she was right there, getting really close. And um, she was in the hospital. And I was sitting up with her. My Bible was in my, my lap. And I was just sitting there praying in the spirit quietly. I didn't want to disturb her. 
And uh, I heard it in my spirit. She doesn't need healing. Hmm. I said, well, you could have fooled me. <laughs> no. He said, did you notice how quickly she was healed of the bruises from the, the IVs and stuff in the back of her hands? Did it just went away when you prayed? I said, oh, Lord, forgive me. He said, did you notice when, she, when they said she had some pneumonia and you prayed and it just went away? I said, Lord. I said, well, what's the matter with her then? He said, she's worn out. Her body is worn out. Mm -hmm. But he said, don't you remember in my word I said I would renew her youth like the eagles. Amen. My Bible was right there. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, healeth all thy diseases, redeems your life from destruction, and crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies, satisfies your mouth with good things so that you're... Whoa, ho, ho, ho. Not five verses in. I said, can I pray that for her now? He said, all things are possible to the one that believes. They were talking about her dying in, in a few days. And I just, I just stood up and got over there. She was still asleep. And, and I just got over there and just prayed that over her. And she lived two more years. Amen. And uh, so... I said, Lord, uh, I think I'm going to pray that over myself all the time. <laughs> he said, I think it's a good idea. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I marked it up, and it's one of the prayers we pray for our partner. Well, and um, then, as far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. That's right. Yes. Yeehaw. Amen. Like as a father cares for his children, so the Lord cares for them that fear him. For he knows our frame, he remembers that we're dust. As for man, his days are as grass and a flower of the field, so he flourishes, and I wrote in there, only 120 years. For the wind passes over it and has gone, and the places thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy, the hesed of God mm -hmm. is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him and his righteousness unto the children's children. I wrote in here, can your union offer this? <laughs> to, to, listen, are you listening? Yeah. Huh? Really good? Yeah. Yeah. To such as keep his covenant and remember those that remember his commandments to do them. That covenant is stuck in there. All over it. All over you can't it. Undo wait, 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 hang on. You can yeah, say it in a second. <laughs> he hath prepared his throne in the heavens and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, you his angels that excel in strength that to do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. The angels are hearkening unto the voice of his word right now while we speak. This little room is full of angels. Yes, it is. And all of you are out yeah, there are surrounded right. around with angels. Bless ye the Lord, O his host, his ministers of his that do his pleasures. That's talking about the angels. Bless the Lord, all his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Yes, sir. He knows our frame because he's the one that formed it and the one that picked it up and breathed into it. Yeah. <laughs> See, he's putting himself back in remembrance all the way back to that first covenant. Oh, it's, that's the way it started. This is a covenant of faith. Yes, it is. The law, as good as it was, is not a covenant of faith. It's only obedience. Didn't have to have any faith. Abraham's covenant is faith. Yes. Jesus is faith. And, and the covenant, the new covenant that we have now is faith. And the reason why many of God's people have forgotten we have a covenant of healing is the reason is this, is because they have valued experiences more than they have valued the word. Now, I wanna read something here because I can add a little bit something to it now that I couldn't. Um, the great hall of fame. Mm -hmm of faith in the 11th chapter of the book of Hebrews. 
Here again, it's, it's explained in detail in the, the classic amplifier. Now, faith is the assurance, the confirmation, the title deed of the things we hope for, being the proof of things we do not see, conviction of their reality, faith perceiving as real fact what is not revealed to the senses. For by faith, trust, and holy fervor born of faith, the men of old had divine testimony born of them and obtained a good report. By faith, we understand the worlds during successive ages were framed, fashioned, put in order, and equipped for their intended purpose by the word of God. That started in Genesis, the light be. That's right. Mm -hmm. He said, and the spirit of God was moving on the face of the deep. Because the spirit of God is the agent. Enoch was caught up and transferred to heaven. But without faith, it's impossible to please and satisfactory to him. For whoever would come near to God must necessarily believe that God exists, that he is the rewarder of those that earnestly and diligently seek him out. Now, and he, and he goes to Noah. And, mm-hmm. Abraham. It just keeps on. Sarah. Yeah. She, she, uh, she judged him faithful. Right. The promise. So from one man, though he was physically as good as dead, they gave sprung descendants whose number is as the stars of heaven and countless as an innumerable sands of the seashore. And they're still being born right there, right now in a nation called Israel. That's right. Glory to God. So then, and, and you just keep on, I mean, these gigantic heroes of faith and, come on. There you go. Verse 40, because God had us in mind and had something better and greater in view for us so that they, those heroes and heroines of faith should not come to, now listen, the heroes and the heroines of faith. Now, now, now you get that in the classic amplifier. That's, that's a massive statement. Therefore then, since we are surrounded by so so great a cloud of witnesses who have borne testimony to the truth. Now you see who who must qualify. Now, people go to heaven is one thing, but you have to be a, you have to faith qualify to be the cloud of witnesses because they're they're in there helping. And uh, we're in out of time. I'll tell you tomorrow. (laughs) (laughs) Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Discover how simple the answer to every question and every problem in life can be in God, the Covenant and the Contradiction, a new book by Kenneth Copeland and Greg Stevens. In this approachable book, dive deep into what a covenant is and what it's for. Discover what your covenant does for you and learn to overcome every contradiction and obstacle. With every covenant promise comes a contradiction. When you read in the Bible that by Jesus' stripes, you're healed, and the diagnosis comes back incurable. Or when you're facing a towering stack of unpaid bills. When you read that God promises you prosperity. Common sense and human reasoning rise up to shout, there's no way that God's promises will happen in your life. Thank God, covenant men and women throughout time have refused the contradiction and praised through in faith to the end result the blessing promised by God, and you can too. See the Bible unfold more clearly than ever before in God, the Covenant and the Contradiction. God, the Covenant and the Contradiction by Kenneth Copeland and Greg Stevens. Available now for pre-order for only $26.99 on kcm.org slash TV Covenant. Discover the rich inheritance God's love has provided for you, spirit, soul, and body. Overcome every contradiction and obstacle and receive God's covenant promises for a victorious, abundant life. All pre-orders will begin shipping in September. Free standard shipping included. Hello, I'm Larry Warren. God has a plan for your life and it includes good things. Ephesians 2.10 says, For we are His workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God has before ordained that we should walk in them. In other words, 
We are God's masterpiece created in Christ Jesus so we can do the good things he's planned for us. God's good plan comes through being created in Christ Jesus. And that starts by making the choice to receive him as your Lord and Savior. So pray this with me. I lift my voice to the almighty God, the creator of every living thing, the giver of all life. I receive your love as the God and father of all humanity and the gift of your son, Jesus, your chosen one. I turn from my wicked ways and ask that you change my life and use me any way you deem fit. Today is a new day and I believe and I yield to the Lordship of Jesus both now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Now, that simple prayer just changed your life and your destiny. Jesus has given you every victory he's ever won. You have a new life in him and you now have the healing, the peace, the protection, the freedom, the wisdom and prosperity. Listen, it all belongs to you. To help you learn more about who you are in Christ and who he is in you, KCM has put together resources to send you for free. It's the Salvation Package, and it includes a book by Kenneth and Gloria Copeland called He Did It All For You, along with some information on how to get started reading and studying your Bible. Request your Salvation Package today, free on KCM.org. Well, you became a child of God today. You got filled with the Holy Spirit, and I expect now you're speaking in another tongue. Right? Yeah, well, sure you are. I took that by faith. <laughs> well, that's the way I received it. Somebody just pushed me on the head and I just took off. But anyway, that's, that's what this is. Glory to God. Her glorious prayer was take my life and do something, something with it. Well, he yeah. did, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. That's the way it works. We'll see you tomorrow. Until then, be sure and don't forget this. God loves you and we love you, and Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Yes, so is. praise the Heavenly Father for it. Yes. Hallelujah! Ah, yes, go with it, God. Thank you for joining us on the Believer's Voice of Victory. If you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, Kenneth and Gloria Copeland have a gift for you. It is called the Salvation Package. Learn about the new birth and how you can live your new life victoriously in Christ. Receive your free package on kcm.org slash salvation. Keep your heart full of God's word and continue to grow in faith. Every believer has a voice and it is the voice of victory.